hey, I'm going to see if I can answer your question um, that you sent to me about how I plan based on the adjusted schedule. So when I look at my schedule over here, I take a look at, honestly, the pages that they preview and highlight because they're doing that to prepare for week two. And so I went through and I labeled, I put tabs. I think yellow is first semester, red is second semester for the week number. So if I knew I was, um, we just had week two. I'm going to show you that week. So I knew that week two, they previewed and highlighted pages 9 through 11. And I had basically um, determined that that would be, we were going to discuss in class starting here. We're going to talk about rules for gender, use of verbs, go over this page, make sure they understand this whole personal pronouns. Uh, let's see if they can figure out the pattern of the T versus the NT here in the vocabulary and practice some exercise five. And then you'll see um, this reading they'll do on their own. But then that's where my week three tab is. So I know that when I get to here, that's going to be the following week. So I'll just jot myself some notes down. I usually um, put a little list here of what book. This is really, I write this on the whiteboard so the kids know how to be ready for class, that they need to have their purple book open to this page, blue book open to this page, workbook open to this page. And then I just walk through each of those headings, like here. We're gonna, whether we read it or skim it or whatever, they should have read it already before they come to class. We're just gonna discuss, make sure they understand rules for gender. And then this one right here, we read it totally out loud. I wanted to see if they could read it and explain it to me. Um, and that was really hard for them. They had a really hard time. So um, we just walked through some of it sentence by sentence to see if they understood what they were saying. So I wanted them to begin to learn to read and teach themselves how to do this. It's not something that's going to come right away. We're going to practice it. But anyway, so over here I made my notes. I believe we were going to read aloud that use of verbs section. We we're going to talk about the different parts of speech, see if they remember their memory work. Um, what parts of speech do we see in this section? And that would be verbs and pronouns. And then so we reviewed pronouns, um, the different, you know, first person, second person, third person, singular and plural. And then... Um, we read the rules aloud, these these right here, and what do you think they mean? And then we got to the vocabulary, and I just have them look at it. What do you what do you notice? And eventually somebody recognizes that, you know, two are the same in the front, these two are the same in the front, but they have different endings. There's a T and there's an NT. I'm trying to get them to come to these observations on their own without me just telling them. And I'm like, based on the patterns that you see here, can you come up with a rule? And somebody will eventually figure out that T is for singular and NT is for plural. So I really want to try to avoid just telling them things. I want them to make the observations and try to arrive at the conclusions themselves. And if they're not getting there, I will drop hints. Um, at some point, I might just have to tell them. But then we practiced with exercise five, where we put it up there and we talked about how to... Um, do these exercises and I think I have a picture of our whiteboard I'll send that to you as well so hopefully this helps and anyway talk to you later